everyone, I'm Alex. Uh, online I go by the name of Tangle. And at the beginning of June, I basically decided to give it a go at streaming on twitch.tv. And this is my new format called TLDW, Too Long Didn't Watch. It's basically a documentation of my stream. Uh, I'll tell you some things about my stream, what I think went well, what I think didn't. Um, and I'll just take you along the ride, I guess. Overall, I'd like to give you all some tips that I made when streaming. So if you ever decide to stream yourself, you can take some of these tips and maybe uh, maybe improve your stream instantly with, with those tips that I figured out over time, maybe. Before this video starts, I just like to make a disclaimer. This isn't some video where it is a story of zero to a hundred views. This is basically just a slow, subtle progress on twitch.tv on a hugely saturated platform and don't expect any major amount of viewers. It's just some slow, subtle growth, like I said. So I've warned you, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> So before I started streaming, I set up in my eyes at least some nice looking OBS scenes with some cool plugins. Uh, some of them include like transition overwrite matrix plugins or the motion effects plugin for, you know, nice little animations like this one or just something simple like the VST rear gate audio plugins that enhance the quality and the audio of the stream. For my alert platform, I went with Stream Elements because you get a lot of customizability with their alerts and they have, at least in my eyes, the best custom OBS version out there with OBS.Live. The alerts are, you know, fairly simple, just a simple animation that I made. Uh, in the future, I'm looking to make some new, more fitting ones, but for now, I think they're enough. I also made some custom Stinger transitions for the stream and also some, in my eyes at least, like I said, nice looking uh, panels for the Twitch video description, I guess. After some thinking, I made up a decently sustainable schedule with Wednesdays and Sundays being off days. Some people like Devin Nash, for example, really recommend that you should start at a niche time. And I found that basically to be 3 p.m. Central European Standard Time. That is an almost perfect niche time where North Americans are waking up, Europeans come home from work or school, and it's basically prime time in Asia. If you have any other questions regarding the stream, you know, the quality, the content, whatever, uh, I'll be glad to answer it in the next episode. So be sure to just simply leave a comment down below and I'll include it in the next video in July, of course. So before June, I streamed four times in total in May, uh, but I still had a lot of stuff from university going on. And so I was more time limited in that sense, but that's now gone away for the time being. And I'm fully committed to Twitch streaming, content creation, however you want to call it. In those four streams, I managed an average of 1.4 average viewers, 66 live views, and gained a total of three new followers. Uh, 133 chat messages were sent and 861 minutes were collectively watched by people watching me. I played Minecraft Dungeons, Rocket League and FIFA. You know, most of the time, some of my real life friends tuned in and just watched for a bit on the side and then later tuned out. So for the most part, my chat was kind of dead, but I really tried to self monologue as much as I possibly could. That was actually something really tough, but I think I saw some decent results after that. So that's good, I guess. So I started my first real stream on Tuesday, the 9th of June. This was also a relatively big moment because on that day, I actually got my first raid. Well, technically not really a raid, but a group of friends basically joined the stream and uh, wanted to troll for a bit. But for some reason or another, most of them decided to stay and follow that day which was really nice. Most of them still tune in to this day, which is obviously even nicer. So to get to the stats, I streamed an hour and 44 minutes, had an average of 2.9 viewers and a max of nine viewers on the stream. I got four new followers and two clips were made of which one has 28 views actually. And that week, average viewers were actually going down, but I still managed an average of uh, two viewers per stream, which is actually really nice for my first real week of streaming, I guess. Most of the streams were relatively short, by the way, should probably mention that. I played some Rocket League, some Assassin's Creed Origins that nobody bothered to watch. 
because why would you want to watch a three-year-old game? But for the most part, I tried out just chatting and that went actually really well, I have to say. In the third week of June, I actually improved on the live views, moving up to 2.6 average viewers and improved also the live views to 86. However, follows and chat messages were down when compared to the previous week, but the minutes watched were up, so that's good as well, I guess. By that time, I had set up a Discord server where a bot posts whenever I go live. So that helps establishing a baseline for the community and just get notifications to people that really want to watch my stream, I guess. Uh, you can join it too, by the way, should you for some reason want to check out my content or my Discord server for that matter. Um, just type in discord.tangle.live and you will get the invite link immediately. This week was also mostly people who had already followed the stream watching with 70% uh, of followers watching, 17% others and 17% of viewers coming from searches. The fourth June week was actually the most successful streaming week I've had yet. I cracked an average of uh, three viewers per stream, which is really nice, I think. And maybe you're tired by all the numbers I've been showing, so I'll just post them here so you can pause the video if you want to. But I wanted to show you guys my biggest stream to date actually. That was on the 26th of June. I had four average viewers, 11 unique viewers and just a really fun stream in general. In June, I wanted to try out just chatting only, which is supposedly the hardest category to stream on with all the big established streamers there. But it's also relatively hard to establish yourself in a section that is basically predicated on, you know, giving your opinion when you have no one that watches you. I hope that comes across what I meant to say here. And I think most streamers, at least that's what I always thought um, the community thinks of it is that they get their credibility by uh, the amount of viewers that they have. So that's tough. I hope you got my point there. That was kind of weirdly rewarded. But um, just chatting is really tough to get, I guess, viewers in, but I really, really like it. It's really, really nice, in my opinion, at least. All right, coming to the last week of June and the actual first week of July, because I started streaming in June, you know, in the second week, which makes it kind of like my last week. I hope you get the point. Basically, the TLDR of that is, or TLDW, if you want to call it, is everything stats-wise uh, went down for me that week. I think this had mostly to do with most of my regular viewers, if you can call it that, uh, not having time to check out the stream. But obviously, nobody is obligated to check out the stream. Uh, so that's fine with me as well. Still had 2.4 average viewers and uh, four followers that week. And that's actually pretty good in my books, at least. So to round this up, I actually tried to make these videos, you know, shorter than 10 minutes. I have actually no clue how long this video will be. I think somewhere around five minutes, maybe longer. I don't know. What are my thoughts? Basically, I try every month to give you some of my thoughts that I, that I had that month and these are those thoughts, basically. Well, I'm pretty happy, let's be real here, uh, how things went so far. I think I've established a small little community, you know, that uh, I'm actually really proud of and that is really cool. And I think factoring in that I've been streaming for a month now, I think these are pretty decent results. And I think I can be proud of that. You know, it's not world, beating. It's not a hundred viewers in a month, but it's something, you know, I'm, I'm averaging around three viewers now. Sometimes I, I get more. Sometimes I have like, you know, seven people tune into the stream, but uh, it's not something that, you know, I particularly look up to, or like I have a goal, let's say. I just like to have people in the stream that, you know, enjoy the content that I make or like just enjoy my company, if you could call it that, or just when they tune into my stream, they can, I guess, relax or just, you know, have a fun time. That's basically what I wanted people to, uh, to regard my stream as. I think, like I said, I'm relatively proud of what I've accomplished so far. It's not big as, as like I said. Right. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you like this video. If you want to, you can uh, tune into my Twitch streams. Um, basically just type in tangle.life into your browser and you'll get redirected to my Twitch site. You can check out the schedule there as well. If you want to check out the streams, you know, make uh, take a look at it for yourself, I guess, and uh, maybe watch some of my other videos and maybe like this video if you wanted to, but uh, you don't obviously have to. Right. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.